when I loop my kite, it literally feels like a dragon sometimes. It literally, I'm holding on to its fucking horns, yeah? It's breathing fire at its mates and stuff. There be breathing fire at me. It is hectic, mate. If I was alive in Game of Thrones eras, I think... I would be well good at riding dragons still, because it is very similar to throwing a mega loop. You know, they both want to kill you. Between zero and five meters up, if you loop your kite, you will be fine. You will look like a pussy though, so keep that in mind. Now, above that, from six to ten meters, I like to call that the never zone. You never want to be in that zone, all right, ever. Why? Because you, my friend, if you pull a loop in that zone, you're going to get fucked. But not in a way that you like getting fucked. In a very nasty, horrible way. Another tip that helped me like, well loads over the years is making sure that everyone at the spot calls the spot the post office. And people always say to me when I tell them that they've got to call it the post office, they say... Why are we calling it the post office? And to that, I answer, because it's where shit gets fucking sent. Yeah. And then from that point onwards, they know that I mean business. Yeah. And that they should be going way bigger than they are at the moment. Okay. Because it's just not big at the moment at all. So yeah, try to call your spot. Don't steal post office. But try to call your spot something like mail delivery sending related. Maybe like DHL headquarters or FedEx main place. Before your session, yeah, you need to have something to eat. Think as though it's your last meal on earth. Yeah, prepare the nicest meal, like whatever your favourite is, yeah, and it doesn't matter what it is. For me, it's a pork roast. Even when I'm going for a morning session, yeah, I will get up at like four or five, depending on when I want to when I want to be on the water, yeah, and I will put on a roast. Sometimes it takes up to two hours to do all the trimmings, because the fucking pork takes ages. And then you've got to do the carrots and all the, you know, the roast potatoes and shit. But anyway, it is worth it in the end, though, yeah? Because when I'm eating it, I'm like, I'm happy. If I die today, I'm going to die happy. Because I've had my pork, yeah? And now I'm ready for a fucking big session. So make sure your last meal is a fucking good one. Don't just, you know, don't just have, like, a toasty or something. Just before I go out on a session, I look at a picture of Aaron. I'm not going to tell you which picture it is, because I want you to go and find your own inspirational picture. All right? So get on the Googles, get your printer working, make sure there's a cartridge in it or something, and then print out a nice inspirational picture, okay, of a pro. Maybe, maybe screenshot this video and put up a picture of me. If that is where you find your inspiration. But make sure when you look at it, yeah, and you're giving it a good stare, like a minute or something, just looking at it, yeah, look into their eyes and think, fucking hell, I am being so inspired right now. On the topic of Aaron, yeah, I saw him the other day, Azza. Just casual, we go way back, you see, me and Aaron, yeah. Both from the UK, obviously. Both go fucking big. On our mega loops, yeah. Two peas and a pod, mate. Anyway, when I saw him, he said, mate, thank you so much for letting me be in the thumbnail for your previous video. And I said, mate, don't you worry, okay? You can be in every thumbnail if you so please, okay? It is an honour to have you there. And I knew, Aaron, I knew that you would like the purple and the little stars that we put behind you. Now music is a very important piece of the kite ritual, or the mega loop ritual, okay? Make sure in a car, or at the beach if you've got headphones on, that you're listening to something that is getting you to the right place. I listen to the Notorious B.R.G. Ready to Die, the full album. 
I listen the whole thing back to front, and by the end, I'm, I'm there, okay? I have my pork in ready to die. He is speaking to me, and by the time I'm on the water, I am just calm, yeah? I am at one with the wind, yeah? Biggie and Aaron, yeah, have got me to the right place so I can fucking ascend it. Bigger than you can imagine, mate. So big, yeah, that the video cameramen have to go like a mile back just to get it all in the frame. Otherwise, it's too zoomed in and all you can see is my legs. Fucking nightmare for the video, guys. But I'm like, mate, go and find a hill or something. That is just too zoomed in, all right? No one wants to watch stuff that is too zoomed in. If anything, they want the opposite of that. Once you sent the loop, you are going to be thrown by the kite into all sorts of positions. Now, the lamest position of all is like the Superman, where you're like, the pool's so big, but you're weak, so you can't control it, and your legs go up behind you. You look like you're about to take it up the chuff. What you need to keep in mind at this point is, if you die right there and then, is that how you want to be remembered? Yeah? Is that really the position you, you want to be in when it all ends? I don't fucking think so, mate. All right? So keep that core nice and tight and keep them knees out in front of you. Do not, do not under any circumstances get all doggy style on it, all right? That is not the place to be doing that. Right, next tip. The push and a pull. And this is a hard one for me because... I'm always on a fucking pool. You get me? Do you fucking get me? <laughs> right, this is a serious matter, so that's the last joke I'm gonna be making on this topic. When you are actually doing a loop, you want to pull, obviously, otherwise it's not gonna loop. But once you have done the loop, you need to remember to push that bar out as if you never wanna fucking see it again, yeah? There have been many people, yeah, that forget to sheet out and horrible stuff happens to him, yeah? I just want to cry thinking about it, it's that horrible. Okay, Jason, can you put up a little video here? Where's good? Here's good, just next to me. Make sure I'm in it as well. Yeah, big enough for them to see it though. Yeah, okay, here is a video of things going wrong with the mega loops. Yep, yep. And you can see here, make sure that you put the bit where they, yep. Here, that they're not sheeting out, okay? And that is where it goes horribly wrong, okay? Idiot. If you don't sheet out, the kite can't relax, yeah? It's like you've got it all tense and angry and you've, you you needs to get relaxed again, okay? It's a meditative process, the Magaloop, okay? So sheet out, give it a bit of a fucking break, okay? Because you are putting it through hell. Be nice to it. Sheet out. And it will fucking catch you if you are lucky. And if you if it doesn't catch you, it is not good news. Okay, change of position because I'm getting tired and that just from thinking about all this. Okay, other little things. There is going to be times when you're doing mega loops that it does go horribly wrong and you know that you're going to get fucked. There are going to be times, my friends, when you do a loop and the little fucking thing just does not want to catch you. You've just got to accept that, all right? You just got to say to yourself, look, it's not my day today, okay? I've done some nice loops, but on this particular occasion, I'm gonna get absolutely fucked. Too much wind, not enough wind, pilot error, different wind, whatever, okay? It's not always your fault. Go home, rent a film, eat some chocolate, don't cook, get a takeaway or something, all right? Be kind to yourself, give yourself time to recover. Okay, you will be all right. There will be better days. Okay, don't let this get to you. Okay, you need to be planning the next session because otherwise you're going to be spending your entire life thinking about that one mega loop that you fucked up. Your wedding day, yeah, greatest day of your life. First dance or something, yeah. Everyone's watching, yeah. Got your missus there in front of you, gonna do like tango or something, yeah. And then all of a sudden, you just remember the mega loop and it fucking ruins a whole day. Oh my, I remember how fucking horrible that was. Oh, I don't, I don't want to think about it no more, but I can't. 
even though it's my wedding day, I'm still thinking about it. Oh, I can't, I can't dance anymore. Oh, help me. Yeah? Don't want that on your wedding day. Or, yeah, you're about to buy your first Lamborghini because you made a bit of wedge. Yeah, you've been working hard, made some wedge. And then they give you the keys, it's yellow or something, and you get in a car, and as soon as you sit down, yeah, and you feel that cold on your ass, yeah, you're like, fuck, I remember that mega loop, and I remember how fucking horrible it was, damn it, ruined my fucking Lamborghini experience, you're on an aeroplane, on your holidays, yeah, heading somewhere nice, somewhere warm, yeah, just with the kids or something, not even like a good holiday, you're just going somewhere, yeah, you're up in the clouds, you look out the fucking window, you're not even in the window seat, yeah, you look across, you're in the aisle, because you like the you like to be able to get up whenever. But yeah, you look across, and there it is, you see the clouds, and that just takes you back to that one time you were almost up in the clouds doing your mega loop, and then it all went horribly wrong. And you're like, fucking hell, the clouds, I remember. Oh fuck. I can't get it out of my brain. I just keep thinking about that one time. I got completely fucked by the kite. And it's ruining my life. I can't think about nothing else. Oh, God. Help me. Why did I ever pick kite boarding? Why did I ever think the loops could be that big? Yeah, them loops are just too big. No man should be having to deal with that. And for that reason, I have started Mega Loops Anonymous. Okay? For all them people, all them guys out there, just like me, just like you, and the girls too, if they can girls do mega loops? Well, I guess they could, if they wanted to. For everyone out there that feels the pain of a loop, okay, that hasn't been caught, and you're wondering, oh my God, is that a metaphor for my whole life? Will I ever bounce back from this? Yeah? I've been there, I've been very low. But my kite has been very low. But I have been lower than my kite, which I didn't think was possible, yeah, because I ride well low. But it is possible. I want to use my position and my fame for something good, yeah? I have set up a Mega Loops Anonymous for us all, yeah? In Mega Loops Anonymous, we can help each other, okay? Get through these fucking horrible times, all right? And out into the goodness, okay? Get out there, get sending some loops again. Little ones, of course, under five metres to begin with. Because you don't want to scare yourself again. But then, after a while, the wind gets up. You look at that picture of Aaron again, and you're like, Oh my fucking God, I'm ready. I'm ready. <sighs> yeah. Always know that I'm here for you in your mega loop hardships. Alright? Always know that. Always know that I'm here for you. Okay? Okay? We must group together. We are stronger as a big, big group. Okay? Yeah. Okay? Shout out to everyone out there that has had a horrible mega loop experience, yeah? Oh my god, that polish has worked well good on the helmet. <laughs>